Hi everyone, today I'll talk about the different outputs that are available with Trivi um, to locate your vulnerability results when you scan an image. So you might be familiar with um, the existing uh, documentation that comes with Trivi and part of that says there's a flag that can help you format uh, the output um, as you desire. Um, by default it's table. So you print a nice table, but there are other formats that I'll be talking about today and uh, some of our com community contributions that we've received uh, with regards to the output um, and how it can be tweaked for different use cases. So I'll quickly show um, how it looks today by default. So we get rid of the format flag. Um, this is the default output today. It comes out as a table. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. It's nice to uh, take a look at and has a quick glance of uh, what's present in your image in terms of vulnerabilities. You can also look the same output um, in a JSON format. Now this is more manual to automation if you want to pipe the output results to let's say another program that parses them. Um, it's a lot easier to output um, the results as, as JSON. So as you can see in this case, it's the same output. Um, it does have a few more fields and a little, a little bit more verbosity present. As you can see, it has description, references, and a bunch of other um, informations uh, that are uh, present for each vulnerability that was found. Um, so there's that option if you are interested in in having automation consume it. And then there's a third option as you might have noticed um, in the output and that's a and that's a template. So um, before I show you what template is, I'd like to um, make a quick shout out to uh, Tanir who helped us contribute one of our templates that I'll demo um, later in this video. Um, but Firstly, um, what is a template? Um, a template is basically, um, like the name says, um, a way to represent the output. So um, if you take a look at uh, one of the templates um, here, um, I'll just show you a quick example. So um, this is an example of a template. It's fairly simple. It, all it does is it prints the target of the image that you were trying to evaluate for vulnerabilities. Um, doesn't show any vulnerabilities at all. It's a simple template that is used and um, populated with the, with the fields, in this case, the target, um, and then uh, shown as the output in terms of results. And so how, you, how can you use it? Let's say you, um, are working with um, uh, an environment that requires the output to be in a certain format. Um, one of the examples um, that is is out there is GitLab. So for GitLab container scanning, they do expect the output um, to be present um, in a in a format that um, they they are looking for. So as you can see, you know they have certain criteria on how you can do container scanning and um, they go through a bunch of requirements and configurations uh, as to how your uh, thing should be set up. Um, and then you can also override the container scanning by providing in a template. Um, one of the things that we've done at Trivi is we've made it open to whoever wants to use it as to how they want to showcase their output in whichever way they might be using Trivi. Uh, this makes it very easy to use Trivi in a bunch of variety of different places. So in this case, as you can see, um, this is an example of a, a structure um, of a JSON report format that GitLab has put together. Um, and like I mentioned, um, one of our external contributors um, helped us write a CI template for Trivi so that um, Trivi can be 
integrated with the GitLab container scanning. So thanks a lot, um, Tanir. Um, and now I'll demo the um, the actual GitLab template and how it how it can um, and how it looks. So as you can see, um, it's the same um, format to specify the template. In this case, I'm pointing it to a file rather than providing a template as an option. Um, so my template happens to live here. Um, and if you quickly take a look on um, how the template actually looks, um, it's, um, uh, sorry, never mind. Uh, it's it's uh, this template actually. Um, if you take a look at how, the, how it looks, you can see it has a bunch of um, fields that will be populated by Trivi. Um, and there's a structure to it, um, the way GitLab uh, expects it to be. And and as you can see, these are the information that uh, Trivi will uh, produce and fill it up uh, to generate the output. So if I try to run this, you'll see the same app that you saw before in terms of the results, but uh, the information is slightly organi uh, organized in a slightly different manner. Um, but at the end of the day, it's the same app, but um, just massaged differently and uh, manual for consumption wherever you might feel like. So that's a small overview of how you can use Trivi um, in uh, different um, fashions and different um, templates uh, and different outputs depending on what your use case might be. Um, if you want to check out more, head over to our GitHub repo uh, <clears throat> where we have lots of documentations on how you can use um, Trivi and in different cases. And one of them um, does actually talk about setting the results using a template like I showed here. Thanks.